Hi, Brockton business owners and Brockton residents. It's Mayor Sullivan here at City Hall. This is, believe it or not, the 25th episode of Our Brockton. And the title speaks for itself, Our Brockton. It's our home, our community. Uh, and again, I, I've been doing this on a regular basis, having uh, distinguished guests come on to educate and inform the viewers. Uh, and today, uh, I have Jim Frazier. And Jim uh, is based out of my office three days a week. Uh, I'll let him speak for himself, but he is just a wonderful professional, someone that is bringing a skill set. And I want to take a moment to thank Plymouth County Sheriff Joe McDonald because Jim's, in essence, on loan from the sheriff's office here at City Hall. So, Jim, welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having us. Um, uh, again, my name is Jim Frazier. I'm the Community Outreach Reentry Specialist for the Plymouth County Sheriff's Department. Um, I know um, the sheriff would like to thank you for hosting us, allowing us to offer these services uh, right out of your office in City Hall, which is, um, which is great. Um, some of the things we do in here, uh, well, basically we're working with returning citizens, um, people that have been incarcerated in the past, and, um, and we're offering reentry services out of the office. Some of those services are um, employment, uh, a lot of guys coming back to the community, um, need jobs. I think I think about seventy percent of the guys that have come in since we've started have um, uh, needed employment assistance, which is great. It's great that they're coming in here looking for a job. Because now, do you work with both males and females, or is it just males at this point? Absolutely, males and females. Okay, great. Any anyone can come in uh, as long as the justice involved. They can come in and, and, and work with us. Okay. Um, so, um, jobs is a, is a key component. Jobs is huge. Yep. And um, I said it's about seventy percent have uh, sought assistance with that. Um, so we've been able to connect them in, to employers throughout the years. Um, and then we also do a quarry friendly job fair. Um, we'll be doing our fifth job fair. That is September 15th. That'll be at the War Memorial Building. It is uh, from noon to three. Um, we generally have about 20 to 25 employers coming through. Uh, well, well, set up. We usually have about the last job fair. We had about 220 individuals coming through, um, seeking employment, uh, which is great to see. Um, again, people are doing coming out, finding employment. Um, it, it keeps them from doing the things that maybe got them in trouble in the first place. So employment's a huge factor. Um, what are some it, of the other services, Jim? I mean, employment is key, right? People definitely. want to be able to, to, to have a, a living and make some money and sustain. Um, the Corey Friendly, I, I support that a thousand percent. I want to thank you. I want to thank the sheriff and your team because it's a game changer for the lives of many of these folks coming back out. And, um, you know, what, what are some of the other things? Because you, you're here three days a week out of my office again. Um, and I know it's a plethora of information that you share. Uh, but what are some of the uh, other things other than job assistance um, uh, during COVID, did you have any any other type? I know we had to kind of peel it back a little bit out of health and safety, but what are some of the other things you might offer? So another another highly requested service is identification, uh, birth certificates. Um, without those, you know, it, it kind of goes back to employment. Mm -hmm. they, they can't get jobs. So a lot of guys, the the main request is that birth certificate. If you get your birth certificate, you, you can... Um, it makes it a lot easier to get an ID, and with that you can access jobs. So a lot of guys come in. Um, you know, some of these some of these guys are, um, well, many and women are from single-family homes. They don't. They might not know where they were born. Uh, they might not know where they lived at first, um, and that's pretty key. Most most people know. You know, you can go to City Hall, get birth certificate, right. you know where you were born. Right. And uh, so it takes a little bit of work, but um, we work with them. We work with them in the community and inside the jail as well. Um, but once they get that, um, it, it makes a lot of things easier to get. So once you get that birth certificate, we can get a mass ID for them. And it kind of sets them up, and then a lot of guys will follow through and get their license. Great. Um, and a lot of guys will try to get their replacement Social Security card. Oh, that's awesome. And what about education? Do you help them try to get their GED or any of that stuff? Absolutely. We, yeah. do, we start that process in the jail. We have an education department there. Um, but if they come out and they still need their G GED, um, you know, we can connect them to Massasoit. There's other community um, resources as well in Brockton. Um, we also work with Massasoit as far as education goes. Mm -hmm. um, they have a diesel um, mechanic repair program that targets um, justice-involved individuals. And we've had several of our, our guys go through and complete that program. 
which is you know that that's great again it, it gets them get them on that, that yeah that. no i mean this is a wonderful benefit it really is and if someone watches this or a family member sees this and wants to pass on the information um how do they get in touch with you and when are you here so i'm here three days a week it's monday tuesday and wednesday 8 30 to 4 30 i'm right in right in the mayor's office uh, at city hall um you can you can come in you can call and make an appointment uh the number is 508-897-6812 um, you can also email me it's jfraser at pcsdma.org um, well, like I said, you could just come in and um, no, appoint, no appointment necessary. No, and the good thing is that it, we do it in a, in a private manner. You have a, a, a secure office. Um, when people come in to see you, you shut the doors. There's privacy because there's a lot of personal information that's shared. And, and I, I do I want to thank again Sheriff McDonald because um, the sheriff started this um, when, when Mayor Coppinger was mayor, um, right before his untimely passing, and then Mayor Rodriguez ran the ball with it as well. So when I came in, um, you know, January 6th of 2020, you already had the, the, the footprint ready to go. And um, for those that don't know you, Jim, um, what's a little bit of your background? How long have you worked for the sheriff's office? So I've been at the sheriff's department for about five and a half years. Um, but just all, it's almost two years now since this position was created, and I was lucky enough that the, um, the sheriff trusted me to, um, to head up this, this position. And um, you know, when I was in the jail, I, I started out in reentry, so I was a reentry advocate. Mm -hmm. Um, among all the other services in there, we have a great reentry team in there, um, offering similar similar services services to the individuals in there. Um, uh, so that that's kind of where I that's where my roots are. Yeah, it's no. just kind of built, and um, it's just the sheriffs are an opportunity to extend those services out in the community, and, and um, it's it's just grown. Good, good. And again, it just if you could reiterate again, the Corey uh, friendly job fair is when. It is September 15th All right. from noon to 3. Uh, it's right in Brockton at the War Memorial Building. Um, and again, we'll have, uh, should be over 20 employers. Do you have to pre-register or can you just show up? You can just show up. Cool. If you're looking for a job, you can just show up. Cool. Um, there's no, you know, there's no, we make it as simple as possible. Yep. Just walk in the door, we'll hand you a packet of the employers that are there. And, um, you know, if you need any help, we'll help you. We'll have a team there. You know, if you want to just come in and ignore us and just walk around and, Feel free to do that as well. Yeah, There's no, zero, it's, zero it's very laid back. And then, what are some of the companies that will be there? Do you know, or could you tell any of them? So right now, we have uh, Amazon's going to be there, the Craft Group, IBEW, the uh, Electrical Union, will be there, uh, Local Seven Twenty One Laborers will be there, Everett's, Walmart, um, Eleven, Eleven Hour. Um, I, they're they're looking for warehouse help. Um, and then, so we're, we're still recruiting. Yeah, so no. if you're an employer and yeah. you're looking to join us, feel free to reach out to me. Yeah, and, no, and I want to thank you for what you do. Um, you make a difference in the lives of people that uh, need help, need help, and you're helping and you're providing the help. And again, I want to thank and I really applaud Sheriff Joe McDonald for allowing us to have you three days a week here at City Hall, 45 School Street in the mayor's office upstairs. Um, and if you do want, want to speak to Jim or have a meeting with Jim, again, you could call the mayor's office, which is 508-580-7123, and we can uh, get you in contact with Jim. Or you could just show up. Uh, now, we are wearing masks. You have to wear a mask to enter the building. Um, but then just come upstairs, come to the mayor's office in the rotunda, and, uh, and Jim will, uh, will greet you. So, again, I want to thank you for what you do. I want to thank you for taking the time to, to be on the 25th episode of, uh, of our Brockton. And, uh, again, this is Mayor Robert Sullivan. It really is an honor and a privilege to serve as the mayor of the City of Champions. And I'll be back soon for the 26th uh, episode of our Brockton, and I'll have, at that time, Mr. Dave Farrell, who is uh, a veteran, and he serves the City of Brockton in a veteran services agent position. He's the director of veteran services. So be well, stay safe, and thank you again, Jim. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. You too.